Hi guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're joined by Lee from Ruckstyle. That's the guy that built our little Met Ruck for us. We've had the bike a while now and he's been buzzing to get over, give it a once over, nut and bolt check and a good service for us. So we thought we'd take the opportunity while he's here to go through the bike and the build in a bit more detail. So we're gonna jump into it, let Lee do his thing and he'll explain as he goes what he's getting up to, why and what effect it has on it. And also a little bit more detail about the build and how it all came about. So this little thimble is the oil filter that goes up inside the, uh, inside the engine and we're just checking the condition of it to see if there's any debris, any metal flakes, anything of concern, but that is like brand new. So I'm super happy with that. So this plug is very clean. We've just given it a clean up with a wire brush, use some electrical cleaner, and it's come up like brand new. So on this particular engine, the spark plug gap has got to be 0.6 of a mil. So using my feeler gauges, I'll stack them up to the correct thickness. So Lee's now done his thing, gone fully through the bike for us, and I thought I'd catch a minute to discuss what he's done with the bike, but also maybe a bit of a backstory for you guys on how this all came about. Um, I think we've been talking for a while, haven't we, before we built it. Good couple of years, I reckon. It was, wasn't it? on and off. I kept saying we need one of these and then never got round to actually making it happen. And it was a player's classic where Simon and Sean pushed me over the edge. They're like, you've got to do it, do it do it and you caught me at the last sort of like what our last hour before i was leaving you wanted to have a chat and i said oh i've got I've got an idea for a retro looking bike so yeah came, that, up, came up with a met rock that was a big thing for us because i wanted to keep it looking retro and whilst i love these other ones they didn't fit in with our style so much especially with the chevy it's got a lot of curved lines and stuff so and then you showed me the picture of that and i was like 
Yeah, that I'll, is. I'll have one of those, please. <laughs> that is the one for me. I don't think I asked the price either, which was a stupid idea. But <laughs> <laughs> it definitely was. Yeah, just build the best one you can. That was your exact word. Yeah. Just build the best one you can. And I think that's what we got. Happy with it? Oh, yeah, immensely. I, like I said, I think it is the best one I've built. It's um, It gets so much attention if we go out of it. It's just come together really well, you know. All the aluminium work and well it, it weren't even going to be this color originally was it no we we're going to match it to the green of the chevy and then as i dropped it into uh old bones fabrication just changed i had a phone call from simon <laughs> saying last minute. we're changing i was like okay well we just finished that caddy the other mark one caddy and I thought if we're going to drop that and this was coming through at about the same time i thought it'd be kind of cool if they like collided we needed to do the lever on the seat as well and we were doing the lever in that I was yeah like, yeah this works i out think perfect. i think that was a good call it's come out really good. Uh, to be fair, when I first envisioned it, I was green with the brown seat. So probably a little bit more old school looking, but yeah, now I'm thinking about it. I was going to do some teak work, wasn't I, in the... That's it, yeah. To sort of bring the, the bed of the... I cracking. don't know if all this billet stuff would have lent itself to try to make it look that old. So I think it come out better than I first imagined anyway. They are, they're quite, quite nice to ride and they're cheap on fuel, cheap on tax and insurance. And they're just smiles per mile rather than... Yeah, you know. to be fair, for what it is and how custom it is, they're not wild to build, are they? And no, they go together like Lego, really. Um, once you've got all the right bits in front of you and you start putting it all together, it goes together fairly easy. It's just all those little niggly bits that, you know, the, the, like knowledge, the, the knowledge, of, yeah, <laughs> knowledge and the products of doing you know, product knowledge. It goes together pretty easy in the end. What and have you had to do to it now, like for us? Because what, what we've had it six months now? Knocking uh, on the yeah, door, o five, October thirty first. I dropped it off, wasn't it? At Ultima. Yeah, so oh. four, four, five months we've had it. Um, we have ridden it a little, little bit outside here. We've got a little private industrial estate where we can use it, and we've ridden it around a little bit. It's been to a couple of shows and gone in and out, and. I think everything's sort of settled in, isn't it? So that one yeah. the nut and bolt check and a, a little so look over. I just went over all the key components such as suspension, the engine mount, um, all the, the sort of like the structural bolting positions. Just give it a quick nip up just to check it. Um, and then we dropped the engine oil, did the gearbox oil, uh, checked the sort of like the health of the spark plug. Yeah. Um, which you'll see in the video, it did, um, it was a little bit black, but I'd rather it be slightly rich because it's a brand new engine. And if you're running it lean, you, know, you can melt yeah. that piston. It has got a forged piston in it, so it can take a beating. It's a serious motor, this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So it can take a beating, but um, I'd rather it was just that little bit richer. And as you, as you know when you ride it, yeah, it doesn't I mean, cop or splutter, it just no. goes. I don't want for more power either, really. It's, no. it's fast for something that shape and size and they are weird to ride to start with. Yeah. The, it's, you've got to figure out where to put your legs, haven't you, to get your balance. Otherwise, you end up, with, you're really low and you've got them in front of you. And you're like, you almost have to turn it like a quad bike. So you look like a right idiot trying to trying to lean. Yeah, you but, can't really lean that much, can you? You can't no. get them to turn that much on a lean. That's what I've found just, just riding around here. Yeah, that one's even worse trying to lean that one. Cause that is one, that longer than this? That's lower. And oh. it is a little bit longer. It's just got a different mount on it. Some, some mounts are... Slightly different stretches and stuff like that. Right. But this one's a, a 12, 12 to 12 and a half inch stretch, um, which is all billet machined as well. So it's super right. strong, super super sturdy. I love how it's come no out. Flip. Love it. But I do definitely need to ride it. In the spring, you might see me riding around on it. <laughs> wind, wind in my hat. <laughs> yeah, wind in my hat. <laughs> Thank you for coming down and going through it for us. And thank you for building us another cool vehicle to the fleet. It's definitely something we cherish. We're gonna get on detail in this now as well. We're just waiting for the pinstriper to come, finish off the stripes to match the Mark 1. Yeah, and then it is, it's that not quite top. finished. It's, they never are, are they? But it's not quite finished yet. I think that'll finish it off though. Bring some of that orange off the seat forward. Yeah, and, that, uh, that'll be it. That looks bottom. Thank you very much. No problem. Appreciate it.
Driving on the road like I'm the only one Shooting to the green, I talk a hole in one Bible on the dash, they with the holy one I know I put in work, they didn't notice nothing Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years Marble floor, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich Tied up, front sway, I mix the fist sick Quick pause, take a risk, we play for the win Might spend a mill at the rock store like Manafort but making purchases you can't afford I move the money like it's illegal Something more of rigor mortis Where I move dead people